Here, we are looking at the fan rankings of the top 10 best women's college basketball teams before the conference and March Madness tournament. And if you don't like these rankings, be like Arizona. These are your rankings, so go to fanrankings.com to create your rankings so it can be included in the power rankings for the next video at the end of the season. Now, here are the top 10 best women college basketball teams so far in the 2023-2024 season. Number 10, the Indiana Hoosers. The Hoosers are as well-rounded as any team in the country, featuring five different players averaging at least 10 points per game led by Mackenzie Holmes. Packed in a difficult Big Ten conference, the Hoosers have held their own all season, including rolling to a 12-2 record within their conference. While all three of the team's losses this season have come against ranked opponents, including against the Ohio State Buckeyes and Iowa Hawkeyes. Number nine, the Yukon Huskies. A team that is loaded with talent like Paige Beckers, who looks to be healthy while averaging about 20 points, while Aaliyah Edwards has nearly 18 points and 9 rebounds per game. After losing 3 of their first 7 games, the Huskies have been rolling, picking up 15 wins over their 16 games of the season, with their only loss coming at the hands of a strong Notre Dame Fighting Irish team. Overall, the Huskies have posted a 5-3 record against ranked opponents so far this season. Number 8, the Ohio State Buckeyes. The Buckeyes have taken care of business within the Big Ten picking up key wins against the Indiana Hoosers, Iowa Hawkeyes, and Maryland Terps, while their only loss within the conference came at the hands of the Michigan Wolverines. The Buckeyes are riding their strong talent pool including three players averaging at least 12 points per game and five total players averaging at least nine points per game all led by J.C. Sheldon. The deep roster and bench has helped the Big Ten leader post a 4-2 record against ranked opponents with those losses coming against the USC Trojans and UCLA Bruins. Our rankings are coming together like Ole Miss and South Carolina coming together to protect a bad hair day. Like South Carolina players and Ole Miss players. Look, that's, that's great sportsmanship right there. Yeah, little traffic underneath, everybody trying to help. If you want to see more rankings and for you to contribute to these rankings to win prizes, hit the like button, subscribe button, and then all to get notified. Join the new sports community. Number seven, the Kansas State Wildcats. Entering late January, the Wildcats ranked among the top two teams in all of college basketball after starting the season winning 20 of their first 21 total games, including 14 straight. However, the, since the hot start, the Wildcats struggled to close out January losing to the Oklahoma Sooners before dropping a second straight game against a talented Texas Longhorns team fighting them for the top spot among the Big 12. Despite their recent struggles, the Wildcats continue to be a difficult team to match up against, led by Ayoka Lee, showcasing their ability to play on both ends of the floor, including allowing the six fewest points per game this season. Number 6, the Colorado Buffaloes. The Buffaloes have put together as strong of a resume as any team in the country, winning 19 of their first 22 games to start the season, while also adding wins against the Utah Utes, Stanford Cardinals, and USC Trojans, who are ranked inside the AAP Top 10 rankings. On the season, the Buffalo's only three losses have come against ranked opponents. Number five, Stanford Cardinal. The Cardinals have won five of their last six games as well as seven of their last nine to jump to the top of the conference. Over the recent stretch, the only losses handed to the Cardinal program has come at the hands of the USC Trojans and Colorado Buffaloes, who both sat ranked among the best teams in women's college basketball. On the year, the Cardinal roster led by Kiki Ariafin and Cameron Brink has posted at least 80 points in 13 games while using their scoring attack to post a 4-2 record against AP Top 25 ranked opponents. Number 4, the NC State Wolfpack. The Wolfpack has a strong resume and cover letter with a 4-1 record against AP Top 25 ranked opponents. Two of those wins coming against the Yukon Huskies and Colorado Buffalo who sat ranked inside the top 5 of the country. Like many of the other great programs, the Wolfpack is loaded with a deep roster, including six different players averaging at least 25 minutes on the floor, while all six are averaging at least 9.7 points per game led by Isaiah James. Number three, the Texas Longhorns. The Longhorns are red hot to open up February while surging among the best in the country. They currently rank eighth in the country in scoring, averaging nearly 84 points per game, being led by Madison Booker, have used their high-powered offensive attack to jump out to 21-3 on the season. This includes a three-game winning streak with Big 12 wins over both the Kansas State Wildcats and Baylor Bears. Number two, the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Hawkeyes are among the top teams in the Big Ten Conference, while Caitlin Clark continues to build one of the greatest college basketball resumes of all time. With Clark leading the way, the Hawkeyes currently sit ranked first in college basketball in scoring while averaging nearly 92 points per game. On the season, the Hawkeyes' only losses have come against the Kansas State Wildcats, Ohio State, and Nebraska Cornhuskers. 
Overall, the Hawkeyes are 3-1 against ranked opponents while also winning 10 of their first 11 Big Ten Conferences games this season. Number 1. The South Carolina Gamecocks Don Staley continues to have the South Carolina Gamecocks ready to play night in and night out while rolling to a 23-0 record to start the season. The Gamecocks currently rank third in the country in scoring, averaging nearly 89 points per game, while sitting second in the nation in rebound, averaging nearly 47, both led by Camila Cardoso. Meanwhile, the Gamecocks are equally impressive on the defensive side of the floor, allowing just about 54 points per game. Over the first 21 games, the Gamecocks have compiled a 5-0 record against AP Top 25 ranked opponents to include the defending national champions, the LSU Tigers. How would you rank these teams so far this season? Go to FanRankings.com to rank, be a part of the Power Rankings, and a chance to win prizes. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching. And click on the screen for more college basketball videos.